But here's my find so far, a little vintage studio shirt. We've got a Nike, got a nice little crew neck. This all over print, newer, but pretty dope Pirates of the Caribbean. We have a Disney Ness, size 3XL. We've got a vintage HP open view. I believe it's like a computer tee. It's got some pretty yellowing stains, but it's pretty dope. We've got a Tachi Uchiha primitive collab. We've got a Lion King reprint, a little Beatles reprint, Nike shirt. Nike shirt with a uh, pretty cool butterfly on it, and then a vintage size 3XL, pretty big boy, Mickey embroidered t-shirt. I would have kept it, but I don't think I could fit 3X. I'm usually like an extra large and 2X, but that's a pretty cool one. I only found one of these, but I've sold them as amputee shoes in the past, so I think someone will buy it, especially so for how clean it is. Super clean, Jordan 6. I believe these are called the Piston Sixes. They're mad clean. I wish I could find the other one. All right, since our last talk, got some pens for the house. Got a nice Marvel Mad Engine. It'll probably be like 20 bucks. My friend Dave might want it. Uh, we got a couple blank vintage hats. I think they're all uh, Yupung and Nissan. Um, yeah, I like the corduroy ones. They got the cord on there. There's four of those. I'll probably lot those together. Then I have a pair of dry fit Nike shorts for myself. Those are size large. And then a made in USA Levi's 505. And then a Bad Bunny hoodie, which I don't think I'm gonna get the Bad Bunny hoodie. I think it's bootleg, but it does have like the really cool logos on the sleeve and it's pink. I think that was it. I think the rest of those finds were from earlier. Yeah, so these are pretty toast. They got like some crumbling. And then this part's cracked on the back. People will buy just the lace locks though. Probably get like 10, 15 bucks for those. All right, Mickey Mouse, brand new with tags. Little Mickey, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Little women's piece. Got a 2007 Harley, 1998 Speedo. Danny Duncan is a YouTuber. And then a vintage Hawaiian shirt. Brand is Ray Nani, size large. Very lightweight, that's why I'm getting it. It's probably only like 50 cents. All right, nothing crazy, but we've got a nice little women's piece, another women's piece, and then a nice men's big pony. I think I grabbed a couple other things I didn't show you guys yet. Got a little Piplup pop. We have a vintage tulip. We have a Mitchell and Ness. And then we have a Kirby shirt. Little Kirby eating food. That's a small. And then a marine satin jacket. Uh, depending on how much it weighs, I might grab it, might not. It's pretty mint condition though, size extra large. Even if I put it up for like 50 bucks, dude. The bins is so good because of how much stuff is. Like the cost of weight, $2 a pound. Like this right here, probably like two pounds. That's $4 for three items. And this right here is probably like a $40 item. We got a Boys in the Hood, nice little reprint. This is a 2001 beanie. It came up. Nice. It's in my cart now, it's mine. <laughs> and then we got I Climbed Sinegu Hill. Nice little 80s. Haynes, and then this one is for myself. I was waiting to get this. Like, I was about to buy this at the store, but um, I don't mind that it's loose. Pretty dope. A little Fantasia Mickey Mouse. It's a pretty okay day today. Not bad, not great. I don't think I showed these either, but I got two of these. Titleist Pro V1 Golf Balls. I believe they go for like $10 each, so nice little bread and butter items, but golfers always need balls. I like this one. I wish it was like vintage. A little X-Men parody with, uh, what's that show? Futurama, pretty cool. It's on the uh, Gildan tag. It's probably like 2010. What's up guys? I'm just gonna cut in here really quick and do a little intro to the next part of the bins video. So the bins is a really good place to source and I love finding stuff for myself. But for some reason, I can never find a Loungefly Disney backpack either at the flea market, the thrift store, the bins. I've never been able to like come across a Disney one, and I'm a huge Disney fan, as you guys can see from my nice little 1990s Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. But 
I wanted to give you guys a quick little update. I sold eight things from the first day of bins picking. I have a friend on Facebook, his name is Ryan, and he posted a picture of his storage unit and he actually has tons of those mini backpacks in his storage unit. And I met him in the video game community. So I was like, hey, if I could find you some video games, would you trade video games for a lounge fly backpack? Or would you give me a good deal if I just gave you cash? And he said, yes, either one works. The next day I had a mindset of let's find something at the bins that we could sell and I could use that money towards buying one of his lounge fly backpacks. And I can tell you right now, little sneak peek, we definitely killed it. So I can't wait for you guys to see these clips. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and enjoy the clips. All right, so this is obviously a really beautiful scene right here. It is a great come up to start out the day. I'm gonna keep this hat, got a washer though, kind of smells. We have a Marilyn Monroe on this champs tag, probably like early 2000s. It is sleeveless. Got one of these uh, like naked uh, bikini shirts, but it does have like a fraying on it. Then we have a 90s I Love Lucy all over print, size large, probably worth like 60 bucks. And then the beautiful, I'm gonna call it like the Warhol all over print jacket. This thing is beautiful. Probably worth like 150, 200 dollars. What a dope one. Three pounds, so like six bucks, maybe less. Maybe like two pounds, so four dollars for all these gems. It's a huge score. This will definitely help me towards my goal of getting one of those Disney lounge fly backpacks. All right, so that bin's fine was pretty bad for me. I got a couple Jordan shirts, they were kids, but then my friend Victor gave me all of his leftovers or like stuff he passes on. <laughs> Leftover sounds so weird. We'll just say throwbacks, so that's what people call them. But uh, these are all reprints. He usually buys vintage stuff, so got a Uniqlo Hunter Hunter shirt. This one's pretty cool, Jason Polin, and then a Uniqlo Monopoly. So two of those will be for eBay, two of those will be for whatnot. And I actually stopped doing whatnot, but I'm thinking about doing it again because I just find so many of these cool prints and I know people buy them for like five bucks. So buying them for a dollar, sell them for five, do that a hundred times a night, if you can. But Hello Kitty, pretty cool hoodie. People always ask me for Hello Kitty stuff, so now I have something, but it will probably sell pretty fast. Even for 20 bucks, it's probably a size small. I'm just gonna make sure there's no stains. There's a lot of like little, needs like a little lint roller, but for the most part, pretty cool. Got a good score, guys. Lots of video games. This one's my favorite so far, obviously. I already have it at home, so probably sell it. It'll probably go for like 50, 60 bucks. Complete in the box. This one's sealed. I gotta go though, because they're about to pull out in more clothes. Lots of games though, really happy with that. All right, so these are all my grabs. We got Daddy Yankee. This one goes for like 15 bucks. This goes for 80. I actually might be able to trade this to my friend Ryan for one of the backpacks. So either I'll just get the cash or I'll trade him that video game because that one is really hard to find nowadays and it's one of the best games on GameCube. Tonka Rescue, NBA 2K, we got Air Combat or something like that. Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, I didn't look this one up yet. This one's sealed. It's a PC game. It goes for like $11 used, so maybe triple that, maybe 30 bucks. Uh, I didn't look this one up either, but I don't. I didn't look this one up either, but honestly, these are like key titles, especially Dreamcast games are so hard to find. All right, so I looked this one up. This one's going for 15, and this one's going for 25 to 30. So that's a good one. A little crack on the case, but I might even just find a little case because the backside's good, disc is good, easy money on games. A really good day today. All right, so these are my last finds pretty much. We got Montley Crew. this is sealed. And this is going for like 30 to $50, so that's really good. We got Sonic All-Star Racing with Banjo-Kazooie. This one was going for 10. We got a Venom shirt that my friend Dave will probably want. Got some Nike leggings, Air Jordan sweatshirt. This pair of swim trunks, I'll put up a comp because these are just crazy. The prices are just wild on these. Anywhere from 50 all the way up to $100. Looks like they do need to be washed though. Looks like the crotch stain. Falling in reverse, Banty, Guns N' Roses reprint. And then this is a nice 90 striped kind of surf style shirt, size large. I'll probably keep that one, but if I sell it, it'll probably be worth like $30. And uh, that's it. All right, so I'm super stoked about all my finds today. I just want to show you guys the trade that I'm doing with my friend Ryan for the two bags. Yes, I'm getting two because we killed it today. This is all the media for eBay, and this is the media that's going to Ryan. I didn't even show you guys this pickup. It was at the front register, and I got it about halfway through the day, 
And she was like, oh, that's $15. I was like, did you say 50? And she's like, no, 15. And it does work. It needs to be charged a little bit because the brightness is low. But we have a gamepad for the Wii U. This goes for about 100 bucks. This game goes for about 25 to 30. And Mario Kart goes anywhere from 80 to $100. So complete in box, Mario Kart, I paid $1.25. I paid $1.25 for Ninja Shadow of Darkness. And I paid $15 for the Nintendo Wii U gamepad. So these two games are together. I'm trading for one of the backpacks that I'll show you guys right here. And then the Mario Kart Double Dash, I'm trading to my friend Ryan for another backpack right here. And I am going on a Disney cruise in a couple months, so I'm super stoked to get those for my cruise. But let me just go through and show you guys what I picked up today. Most media is $1.25, and some of this is like by the pound. So this was by the pound, and these don't weigh that much. This was by the pound, it maybe paid like a dollar for this. But everything else is $1.25. I know my bins used to be a dollar from media, but they went up to $1.25. I don't know why. They're being cheap asses. They're getting this stuff for basically free. We got Super Mario Galaxy complete in box. Sonic All-Star Racing. These two go for about 10 bucks, maybe about $12 plus shipping. Tonka is not a crazy expensive game, but I couldn't pass it up. It was a clean game. Actually, the disc is kind of scratched up, but it goes in between like 8 and 12 bucks. Metallica is about $10. Tomb Raider is about 15 to 20. This one's sealed. It goes for $10 used. So that one's about probably 25 or 30 bucks brand new. Uh, this one's Air Conflicts, and this one goes for about 8 to 10. Another $5 game. Daddy Yankee goes for about 15. And then this one was actually a pretty heavy hitter. This one was going for like 30 to 50 bucks sealed. It's a remastered Motley Crew. So that was just the media. Then I also got clothes, which I also killed it on the clothes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the deal has been done. I traded the Mario Kart Double Dash on GameCube complete in box for the first bag, which is this red one. And I got it because I have a Sean Weatherspoon Vespa right here. And it just reminded me of the Sean Weatherspoon Vespa because they're both riding on a scooter. And it has Pluto, which is one of my favorite Disney characters. So I grabbed that bag. He also sent me pictures of more bags. I really like this denim Mickey one and it has the ears. I don't think it's too feminine to have the ears on there, especially if they're not the Minnie Mouse ears. If I start collecting these a little bit more seriously, I'm not going for any of the Minnie Mouse ones just because I feel like that's a little bit too girly. And honestly, the rate I'm going right now, I'll probably have four or five more bags by the time I go on that trip. I did buy one on eBay and it came with a coin purse. So I'm probably gonna get that one in the mail, sell the coin purse, make back the money that I've paid for the entire bag. I, I'm, I'm into it. I'm gonna keep hustling. I'm going to the bins tomorrow. So expect another video out probably next week, but I'm probably gonna do a bins video every week, a flea market video every week, and a thrifting video every week. I think that's gonna be the new schedule. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. I already sold a couple things from this video. I'll pop it up on the screen. I know I sold, I don't know if I got them in this video, but I got the blank corduroy hats. There was four of them. I either got those last week or I got them a couple days ago. Those four corduroy hats are blank and they sold for $40 plus shipping. The guy actually just paid a few minutes ago. I sold the Super Mario Galaxy that I got yesterday for $12 plus shipping. I sold the golf balls for 15 bucks plus shipping. And I sold one other thing, the calculator. It sold within 30 minutes after I listed it for 35 bucks. So all those sales pretty much make up the amount that I spent on both days. And I got that Marilyn Monroe all over print jacket. I posted it for a lot, hear me out. I posted it for 500 just because I looked at other similar jackets and other brands were selling for like 1500, 1000, 300. So I kind of like made a little bit of my own price, but I'll take anything over like 200 bucks. I made it auto decline anything under 150 just so I could hear offers. Like if someone's offering me $250 on that jacket that I probably paid $1.50 for, I'll probably take it. In my opinion, that's a super sick Warhol style jacket. And I'm super hyped about doing these challenges. If you guys wanna see me do another one in the future, I'll definitely work it out where I could get more video games to trade for these Disney backpacks because these always hold value even if they're used. So I don't mind investing in a deal or a video like that in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed. Comment down below if you guys think I did a good job on this challenge. I personally think it was a killer score. Also, the I Love Lucy was traded to my friend in kind of like a free trade. My homie Ponderode on Instagram has been hooking me up with these bundle deals 
that are insane. Like he goes to thrift stores and sometimes they donate Polo Ralph Lauren stuff. He always hooks me up with the bundles and I've never been able to really bless him back. So I waited for the perfect opportunity. He asked me how much for the I Love Lucy all over print tee that I found. And I was like, bro, you've been hooking me up so much lately. I'm sending this to you for free. Cause he was like, my girl's gonna kill me if she knows that I'm spending money on a t-shirt right now. So I was like, dude, I got you. I'm sending that shirt to you for free for hooking me up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you, Ponder Road. Neek, I really appreciate you. I love you, bro. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.